So options for dentures. If a denture goes into you and they're considering dental implants, what are their options? Well, there's several options. Uh, the first option that we deal with is two simple implants that you can place in the, the lower. What that'll do is lock the denture in so they can pop it in and out to clean it. Uh, you can chew most foods with that, much, much, much more stable than uh, a normal denture. Um, not as good as four implants. That's one we like to do a lot because it's like a, a chair. We tell people that when you have four legs, it's very stable. So we can actually put four implants, spread them out. So a full arch of teeth, and they're locked in? Locked in. Lower locks in, much stronger than two. We can place those on the upper, and it allows people to get rid of the palate or the roof of your mouth, the denture that most people don't like. Can eat, again, most foods, but the best option that we like to do is anywhere from four to six implants on the lower or the upper, and we can actually lock that in uh, where they can't take it out, and you can eat anything, broccoli, uh, carrots, you can chew on things, chewy things? You can chew everything. You can now, chew. these are permanent teeth that don't come in and out. These are permanent teeth that do not come out. There's lots of options, but we literally can screw them in, and no one can get them out but me. So what's the maintenance on these? Literally, they'll come in every six months like a normal uh, cleaning appointment. We'll clean and make sure they're, they're functioning well, and uh, they last a long, long time. Yeah, but what about pain? It seems very painful. This is not painful. I've done four to 5,000 of these over 30 years, and I interview and talk to each patient when we're done. It's amazing the lack of pain they have. We do all types of sedation, uh, and really, most people don't even remember that they were in. And so there's, right? there's literally no pain with these when we're done. How old can you be to get these? That, that's an interesting question. I've, I haven't done it on a 100-year-old patient, but I've heard that it's been done. I've, I've actually placed implants on someone that was in their upper 80s, and mm -hmm. a lot of people don't. They've been told by another dentist that I don't have enough bone, or uh, maybe I have diabetes or I have these issues. And uh, that, that's not true. Nowadays with technology and the different types of implants that are out there, literally anybody can get dental implants.